Why is crucial to do everyday physical activity, especially when we are getting older? Okay, I'm going to share with you a few reasons of that. And the first reason is if you don't use it, we lose it. Do you know the expression? Yes. So, uh, when we get older, especially after 40, 50, the, the losing process of our skills. Uh, so, what skills are I talking about? Strength, flexibility, balance, stamina, and agility. Be agile to do things. So these five main skills that we really need when we get older, if we are, we are thinking about having a good health and you know. Um, so when you get older, really go, we got to start losing very quick. It's very quick if we don't use them. If we use the slow, the losing process, we can slow down, all right? And I'm going to explain it on this video, uh, how, uh, how, what can you do to, to do that? So the first reason, if we don't use it, we lose it, all right? Second one is connected with our mind, is we, when we get older, we learn much slower. And why we, this happen? So, you know, when you are learning new things, uh, the, nerve, the nerves from the nervous system uh, uh, create new connections. And the learning is about that. We create new connections and, and then we memorize things. So what happens is when we get older, the connections, you know, it's very hard to create new connections, but it's possible. But the connections are, they are very, they connect, but in a very gentle way. When we are younger, they are strong, it's hard to break. When you are older, oh, they get, they connect gentle and it's very easy to disconnect. So, it's harder to learn. So, second reason, we need more time, we need more time to practice what we are learning to create the connection and also we need to keep doing otherwise the connection we lose the connection and we need these connections for all the skills that I, I told you for the strength for the flexibility agility etc etc all right we knew that so what can we do to change that i'm going to explain i'm going to show a graphic about that but i can give you already uh, one example with my clients so when I have clients that do only twice a week with me, practice with me, uh, you know, having my coaching uh, system, uh, let's give it two examples. A, client A comes twice a, a week, meets me, and doesn't do anything else at home, only with me here. And then B, a client comes twice a week with me, and the client does all the home practice that I give to my client, because I give to all of them. Some they do, some they don't do. For, you know, because they get bored, some because they feel lazy or they don't have the confidence. Whatever is the reason, doesn't matter now. So A and B. So A, what happens in the first two, three months, they improve and then they don't, and then stay stable. Uh, they go to a plateau. And if they don't stop, if they stop once or twice or three times or one or two weeks, then they start to lose quick what they gain. I'm going to explain that. But this one here is very interesting. If they, even if they do it twice with me and they practice it at home, 10, 15 minutes a day, 20, the, the home practice I give them, they are in the constant improvement. It's amazing. Uh, they are, even in clients that I have in their, I have clients at the moment, uh, 75, 76, 78, I can see uh, still that improvement. So let me show a graphic that is going to explain this more in detail, how our body works. So in this graphic, I'm going to give you uh, a few examples. So this side of the graphic we, is the skills level. Okay, low level of skills, medium level of skills and a high skills. So the difference between low and high, usually high skills is you know people that you know are regular and you know maybe uh, people that play sports you know from a young age so so this in the bottom here is uh, age of 20 30 40 and 90 all right so let's give example let's use the example a someone that you know doesn't do much physical activity only a little bit gentle that's what majority the majority of people do 
not very active. So what happens between the age 20 and 40? Not much happen in our health body if we don't, you know, if we aren't very active, only a little bit. Okay, but if we continue with the same lifestyle, this is not so stable. After the age 30, 40, start to go down, 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 and increase the speed with age, right? This is common sense, we know that, uh, especially the ones that we are already in this age group, they feel that they are ooh, really go down. So that's the reality about getting older if we don't do anything to change the curve. It's possible to change the curve. I'll give another example. If at this age group I decide at here, let's give you example B. The B is, oh, okay, I'm 40 years old, now I decide I'm gonna start to do, be more physically active for life. And now I, and I start to do, you know, um, like two, three times, four times a week, some regular activity every day, walks or, you know, playing um, some sports or whatever, doing yoga, do riding a bike, you know, I'm active, but not for health reasons, not for uh, competitions or, you know, it is not for uh, performance. I'm talking for health reasons, doing between maybe 30 to 60 minutes a day. So what happened is, whoa, we're gonna start, having the health is gonna improve. Even if you continue then, it's gonna get a plateau with age and then we're gonna lose some skill. Now, the difference is, can you see, we can change the curve. The curve can go there. The same happen if we, if someone starts doing the thing, age 70, think, oh, I'm, you know, what happened if I start on the C option here? Yeah? What happened if I start, if I decide to change my life and do more physical activity when I'm 70? Is this too late? Never too late. The difference is always possible to stop, stop the curve, you know, start, to, is it possible to recover some, all right? And then we're gonna lose. Now, if you start here, the big difference is will never be possible to go there because we need, you know, we, because we, is, we started late on the 70s. But the good thing is we can move the curve, the blue curve, we can bring up, all right? So that's the good thing about the, the our bodies, our bodies are so intelligent. The nature creates our body in a way so intelligent, we can always improve and, and change our lifestyle. So this is what happened with um, you know, age. Of course, give another example. If someone is very fit, uh, give an example D, you know, very active, he loves, it's, it's very rare, but some people really like to be really active and they are active all their life, what happened is, is that they're gonna have like a curve, you know, like a curve similar to this one. So they're gonna lose uh, skills with age because it's impossible not to lose, but can you see a big difference in the big, will be a big gap, right? That's why some people in their 90s still dance, do gymnastics and stuff, and some people in their 90s, you know, they already are in wheelchair or, you know, are, you know, uh, in a very bad situation. I'm talking about people that went to that situation because of lack of movement, not because they have, uh, they have some disease or they have accident. Not talking about those ones. Unfortunately, uh, we can have uh, these uh, accidents. I'm talking about when we don't move. That's what happened. So now I'm gonna explain more in detail what can we do daily and weekly and monthly to you know, change our uh, body health, okay? Let's, I'm gonna show another graphic about that. So this graphic is about, okay, I want to change my life. I'm sick of being uh, weak and, you know, losing my skills. I want to, you know, have a, a healthy life until I'm gonna die. So <clears throat> imagine you decide to start a physical program and you, you decide, okay, I'm going to start doing once a week. 
once a week. Okay. So your fitness, this is your skills here, you know, very low, because, you know, that's why you, you want also to change. And I'm going to do once per week, okay? Once per week. So what's going to happen with the, the, with the time after days and weeks? So this is the timeline, and this is your skill level, doing once a week, the level of skills, but doing once a week. Your level is here. What's going to happen is once a week is... Nothing is going to happen. Yes. Sorry about that. So when I'm saying once a week, you decide, oh, I'm going to start yoga. Or I'm going to start a program with that Lindu once a week. No, we, once a week, you don't start with me because I don't teach anyone once a week because it's a waste of time for everyone and waste of money. So yeah, the body doesn't improve once a week. I'll give you an example. Try to go uh, to learn a new language uh, one, one hour a week. And let me know in, after two, three months if what 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 can you speak about that language what can you write about once a week one hour all right nothing or a few words a few but you can't speak you can't understand is impossible why because the reason i explained we, we learn very slow and we forget very quick we need a repetition so once a week that's what is going to happen so when we start do twice a week twice a week even if we start this level here we start in this level we start here we start doing twice a week we start having some improvements and then we go to a plateau all right a plateau and why i'm gonna uh why a plateau because when you do twice a week we, between uh, the sessions let's think about to make simple you go to you come to me twice a week between each session, you're going to have maybe one day, once, three days break, and then another day, two days break. So this three days break and two days break, the other five days, uh, is going to make you, to, uh, to, of course, to learn, but also to forget things. So you can improve a little bit, and then after a while, you will go a plateau. Like learning a language, if you try, try to learn twice a week, the same, you're gonna learn a little bit more, but then it's gonna be, you're gonna have a plateau. Okay, bit, so once a week or doing nothing is the same, twice a week is not the same. You really can start to see some improvements, but you get the plateau. And, but imagine you do twice a week, and let's give uh, this example here, and then after, let's say, two months. You decide, oh, I'm going to take a break, I'm going to take a two weeks break because I need to do some traveling and then I'll come back. So if you took two months to get there, what is going to happen is in two weeks, probably you are going almost back to the initial point. Why? That's the way the body works. We lose very quick when you get older and we forget very quick. I have, you know, I've been working with age group for a while and all my clients, they do the breaks and without doing the home practice or the holiday practice that I write for them, I prepare videos. I, if they don't do it, when they come back, they go back. And then we need to repeat other things and after a while we're gonna re recover. That's what happens, all right? So only with three week, two weeks break. So if you do one month break or two months, so then you, you really are gonna lose everything. Now, what happened when we start doing three times, three times, you know, imagine you decide to do three times coaching with me, you don't have motivation to do at home. All right, that's a different story. So what happened is you're gonna start to improve, improve, even though you go, and then you go kind of a plateau, but not exactly a plateau, it's got, you can have some improvements, but very gentle, very gentle. You know, after months and months, uh, something like that, all right? Three times a week, I notice that is possible. We don't go to a plateau, but we can see gentle improvements. Is yeah, is amazing. Between The difference between twice a week and three times a week is amazing. Now, and but again, if you have a break, you're going to lose very quick. Breaks are really dangerous. We need to understand that when we stop, we lose. 
It's very interesting. Most of my clients, they think, I ask them, you know, you're gonna have a break. And usually I ask, when is the first time? What do you think is gonna happen? You stop for two weeks? You, you're gonna, you think it's gonna be, your skills are gonna be stable? You're gonna lose a little bit or you're gonna lose a lot? Usually the answer is the first one. Ah, it's gonna be stable, then when I come back, uh, I'll continue. Unfortunately, this is not the way the body works, All right? So I want you to be aware, having this knowledge, because with this knowledge, then you can make better decisions. Now, now you are the person that come to me two or three times a week and you do the home practice. When I'm saying come to me to use my service or doesn't matter if you do, it's the same if you do other things, you know, if you practice yoga, if you do, we have another trainer, it doesn't matter. If you do every day something, you know, not only walking, you know, part of your program. Haha, <laughs> that's the key point to really have good results and good, good improvement. So the line is, is going to be something like more here, 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 and you are going to always have a possibility to progress. Yes, it's daily. So when you do four to six to seven times a week, you know, that's when you can really stop the curve to going down, you can maintain or you can even go higher. It depends on your age. But in my experience, in general, you know, the option three times a week with me only not doing anything at home or this one here, this is the best option. And if you decide to start uh, any physical program to improve your health, keep in mind these principles and this is um, biological principles you need to understand how the body works so you can have, you can make good decisions. And, and again, be careful with the breaks. Even if you go to on holidays and you, have, you need to have a break, so what can you do? Imagine you are doing yoga, you go to a place and then uh, uh, you can't practice. You, you know, find a place that you're gonna do yoga or find a studio or um, ask your trainer you know, to uh, give you a program. Make sure you don't stop completely, all right? Only if you want to keep improving your skills, not get frustrated to come back and then uh, not uh, doing the, you know, and start again the things, not from scratch, but you know, maybe from here or here, I don't know. It depends uh, the person and how long you're gonna have a break. So, yep, yeah, I hope this uh, principle is helpful. I wish you the best, uh, the best health in the world. Bye.